2012 Colorado Venture. Here we go. Yep, got a lot less gear because my dad and Lionel are flying. So uh, Mark and I, we're just gonna drive out with all the gear. Yep, we'll kill some elk and have a good trip. I hope. Yep, let's go give her. Let's give her. All right. All right. It's Thursday morning. We drove all night long through the mountains, and now we picked up Rick Campbell's booger. He calls it. Our little mountain truck. Mark's Mark's gonna be driving that, and he'll be following me if he can keep it running. <laughs> okay, time to go. Well, we're in Colorado, heading up the mountains. Got some really nice scenery. Going up the Red Canyon. Not much of a ledge over there. You go off that, you're pretty much dead. made it forget that tent and stuff <laughs> we rented a, a damn house this time so it should be a lot more relaxing Colorado and we found it we found we, it we, we found the assholes garage I'm down to the lake or the reservoir and who do I find how's it going Rick taking your nap Okay, uh, Mark, Mark's coming down with your truck. There's some nice bucks. But we don't have deer tags. I tried for deer tags this year. And baby down in the middle of the road there. Those are all, they're not great, or great bucks, but boy, they'll be nice next year. Yeah. Cool. Mark's up on top of the mountain. Look at that guy sitting on the post. Oh, an owl? That's it's not an owl, that's a hawk. Yeah, that's a hawk. Pretty yeah. cool looking hawk. No oh, shit, I've never seen one stay there like that. No, well, he knows he's, we're not gonna. Where's my pellet gun? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. I'm not gonna shoot you. I got a wrist rocket, though. We can scare him. Yeah. Yeah. bastards have to have a rough life, but he's gonna make it more tougher for him. Yeah. He's looking for a mouse. Or yeah, a chipmunk. No. Oh. He blends in with that pulse pretty good. Yeah. See if she'll jump the fence. Jump. Jump. Oh, oh you yeah. get her? I'm not sure if I got her or not. That's a cool looking cow right there. He's got he's got eyes on his forehead. Uh oh. Thing. He's coming to check us out. Ah. Mm -hmm. Rick says he'll take a picture of anything. Kind of right. We just missed a coyote running across the field. Cool shot of the cone. Shows how high up we are. The clouds are right, right near us. We're like 8,000 feet here. Yeah. And when you go up on the top of that mountain where Mark's hunting, that you're close to the tree line, which is 10,000 feet. 12, uh, 12, 12. 000. Pretty close to 13. 13,000 to the top of that one. Okay, there's some deer. There's one buck there on the right, the furthest one on the right. He's not a little buck. That's just a real dinky buck. Oh, there's another group of deer right there. I didn't even notice those guys. Yep, there's little guys. This run right in front of me, buddy. You gonna jump the fence? Oh yeah, nice jump. Bunch of deer. I don't know if them little ones are gonna jump the fence. Oh, they will through it. <laughs> me how to hunt for arrowheads. Okay, what are you, what are you looking for, Rick? Some here. Some. Oh, yeah. That's a chip. That's a chip. That's a flint. Okay. I just want to find some flint. 
Seeing that, if you start seeing that, you know that in the in the middle of the road where they have done something. Where they were chipping stone and making stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of chips here. So we're gonna look for arrowheads, see if we can find any. Okay. <clears throat> this is the kind of rock we're looking for. It's uh, sugar stone and flint. That's what the Indians would make uh, make their arrowheads out of. In this area that we're in. Um the, the, there's a ton of arrowheads and stuff. Rick's found hundreds of them in this area. Yeah, on this little mound right here, I pulled up this rock, and it, sure enough, it's a damn arrowhead. Broke. But it is broke. If I move my fingers, it's broke. But that's an arrowhead. Yeah, you can imagine what it looked like when it was whole. It's pretty bad. Yeah. That's a that's a real Indian arrowhead, and I just found it. That's cool. Oh, mess of deer, bunch of little ones. No horn, no horn, no horns. No horn, no horn, no horn, no horn, no horn, no horn. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus! <laughs> God damn! Almost got one. It's Tuesday. Today I'm going to hunt a little bit with Mark, hopefully get some good video. We're heading up the mountain. Hopefully we can see some. We can hear some bugling. Here, right next to me. 
Where's my pellet gun? That one, and then there's one up there. Yeah, we get pictures. Here, he's lucky I don't have my pellet gun, or I would have taken him out before we got this close. It's a blue grouse, or uh, I think they call it a dusted grouse. Grouse. He's lucky. Nick's gonna try to catch this bird by hand. He's be very, very quiet. He's trying to catch dusky grouse. <laughs> He's a chicken hawk. Okay, going down Norwood Hill. This is always an adventure, especially at night. Because you know, if you go off the road, you're deep doo-doo. You're not coming back. Oh, cross, there's a cross. <laughs> oh, man. It's beautiful, though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, scenic. Going down the clear pass. Beautiful views. Gotta watch for falling rocks on the cliffs. Uh, switchbacks going back and forth. You have now arrived. Oh, look at that guardrail. Someone pushed that guardrail over a couple times. 